focus 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 what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog in today's video we're going to be doing the top five beamer code essentials that i believe every bmw should have coded in their car and with today's video we're going to be using the icar pro solution so pretty much what that is is that it's a wireless obd scanner that goes into your obd port and connects to your phone that way you could connect to the app called beamer code and what beamer code is is an app that allows you to code all of the hidden features that is um that your car doesn't come with oh the factory they have laws and stuff in different um countries or whatever and certain countries cannot have all of the features that bmw offers so that just allows you to unlock it but anyway let's get into it let's go all right so number one i'm gonna have to say is making your angel eyes brighter don't mind my car is pretty dirty right now but from the factory these come set at 25 percent right now i coded it to be 100 percent and it's just far way better look to the car than it comes stock like i said stock is 25 percent these right now are at 100 and as you can see it's just crisp don't mind the car like it's filthy right now i need to wash it you see the wheels are dirty the sides are dirty everything is just filthy on it all right so number two is going to have to be the power folding mirrors right so anytime you leave your car right you lock it the mirrors do not fold in I coated my car, so anytime I leave the car, right, I'm gonna close it. Anytime I lock it, the mirrors automatically fold in. Now, I think in Germany, they have this already on their cars, but when it comes to the US, the laws or whatever it is, it's not coated in the car. So I preset mine, or no, I coated mine to lock anytime I uh, press the lock button from here or on my key. And to just unlock, same thing. The sensor automatically opens up for you. Great feature to have. Um, yeah, no, I really love it. So you just go like that, you lock your car, automatically folds in. You don't have to press that super button inside. This guy right here. This button, you don't have to press that anymore. You just do it when, anytime you lock the car. All right, so number three is gonna have to be something that I really enjoy you know, I love the fact that I coded it because it was annoying not having it coded. Um, so for any BMW that has the powered um, trunk, right? I don't think the 3 Series has that. So I think it goes 4, 5, 6, 7 Series, X5, X6, and the new 8 Series, I'm guessing. If you Anyway, if you have a powered trunk, right? You have this button right here, as you guys can see. You press it once, the trunk opens up, right? But from the factory, if you press it again, it will not close the trunk. So I coded my car from Beamer Code that anytime I press the button, as you can see, the trunk closes. You know, that's just a great feature that I love having in my car because I cannot tell you the amount of times that I accidentally pressed that button and I couldn't close the trunk like I have to get out the car and close the trunk but I coded it so where I open it press it once you see the trunk opens All right if you press it again trunk closes and this goes for the same thing with the key you know um, before you could only open up the trunk with the key but now as you guys can see take the key open up the trunk Just press it once trunk opens press it again trunk closes great feature to have and I believe every BMW that has the automatic trunk should have that coded in their car all right so number four I'm gonna have to say you know it's not a necessity but I love having it video in motion and what this is it allows you to watch any movie or music video that you have loaded onto your USB drive um, to play while you are driving the car. So as you can see, the, the, the music video is playing right now. We're gonna shut the door, put the car in drive, take off the parking brake, and as, if I start driving, it's still playing the video. As you can see, there's a new video up. We're driving, we're going 15 miles per hour, and it's still recording, um, I'm sorry, it's still playing. 
before you know i could watch dvds on my um oh that's i don't have my seatbelt on i could watch dvds on the screen but anytime i would take off the parking brake and put it in drive it would just cut off so i love this feature having it coded you know it is a distraction yes but on long road trips where you have passengers in your car is a good feature to have they can watch their movie while you focus on the road and you'll be all right all right and last but not least number five i coded in my car as you guys can see right there i mean i already have the heads up display right that shows me my miles per hour and all of that stuff but i coded down here if you scroll through the menus the miles per hour for those cars that do not have the heads up display they only have the um the the tack right here having a digital um screen that shows you you know exactly how fast you're going is pretty nice to have so i coded that in the car um on, focus 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 so yeah i coded that in the car i didn't really need it but i i just put it there and i think every bmw should have that because you know it's a great feature to have having your your miles per hour right there rather than you know having to focus and see what's what up there it just shows you you know how fast you're going and whatnot but as you can see i already have it up there but it's also nice to have down here as well so, so with that being said that is the top five beamer code essentials that i believe every bmw should have on their car i know i've been away for some time but we are going to get back in the groove we are going to make videos for you guys um if you guys haven't already please subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up you know comment down below what you guys want to see in the next video i am going to do a giveaway all right at a thousand subscribers and on top of that i am going to make a video on a top speed run all right on my f10 535 it is tuned right now i did also take off um the governor which is um what uh the factory leaves the car at for the top speed or something like that so i can potentially go up to 160 miles per hour we are going to put that to the test at a thousand subscribers um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace